hey guys uh, what's up welcome back to another part of this series so this will be part six i guess and in in this video we are going to build the rest of our widget so in the last video we built the movie list dot dart widget so today uh, in this video we'll build the remaining widgets so let's uh, first start with um, the category dot dart so we are going to build the category uh, widgets so we have created a new file under the widgets folder inside our uh, ui folder so in category dot dart first of all we need to import uh, the movie list block so uh, actually i'll just go back to my movie list and i'll just copy this and i'll just uh, paste it out here and then uh, i'll need the uh, uh, item model so i have the item model right here in my movie list dot dart so i'll just copy this up and then we need the flutter material dot dart package so just copy uh, and paste it right here and so let's create a stateful widget and we'll name it as a movie category and it uh, is going to return a stream builder so let's return a stream builder and uh inside a stream builder we need to provide a stream but before that uh let's uh fetch the movie list so here we'll create a movie uh, list dot uh, block dot fetch uh, fetch i guess movie list block not dot block and dot fetch uh, movie list and it would be a movie list type dot upcoming so actually we have not created this class the movie list type so uh, we are going to create it uh, right now so let's create a new folder inside our uh, src folder so we'll not create the, the folder inside our ui folder we will uh, create the new folder inside our src folder directly so we'll just create a new folder and we'll just name it as uh, constant because it will uh, actually uh, uh, contain our global variables so we'll create a new file inside our constant folder and we'll name it as uh, global dot uh, dart and inside uh, global dot dart file i'll create a class so class uh what was it it was movie list type so i'll just copy this up and i'll just uh paste it right here and uh this class is going to contain the uh the the categories of the movie so if the uh, the movie is popular or it's it is currently trending or any upcoming movie or any top rated movie so let's create uh static so static uh string uh, popular equals uh, popular and then I'll just uh, copy this up and I'll just uh, paste it so uh, we'll then create the current lip playing so it will be now uh, playing so now playing equals uh, now uh, playing and uh then uh then uh let's create the top rated so top rated equals uh uh so it would be a top uh, rated and uh then uh upcoming so any upcoming movies so let's create uh upcoming so uh, that's it so uh, after that so our movie list uh, type is done and in categories category dot dart file i'll just import it so import uh, package netflix clone src uh, constant uh, move global dot dart and uh, now we need to provide a stream so let's uh, provide a stream so the stream uh, so the stream is going to be a movie uh, list block dot um, movie list and then I uh, will create a builder builder uh, actually it is it is uh, same as the this one in our movie list dot dart so I'll just copy uh, the builder portion so uh, 
content snapshot and then I'll also copy actually I'm going to copy the whole uh, stream builder so let's copy this and uh, let's just uh, paste it here and that's it so now we need to create this uh, build content widget so uh, let's create the build content uh, widget so build content or oh, actually it is a widget so uh, I have to write widget so widget uh, build uh, content uh, let's uh, actually we can uh, copy this one so I'll just copy this uh, this part in uh, our movie list dot dart file so uh, I'm just copying it and uh, let's uh, paste it out here and I guess need another bracket curly bracket and uh, here I think uh, we do not need this uh, on tap option so I'll just remove it and it will return a build item and actually uh, we don't uh, need this uh, poster path so I'll replace this poster path with uh, release release uh, date so guys actually let us have a look at our API so that you guys can uh, be more clear so uh, this is the release date so as you guys I hope you guys can see so let me just zoom it so it's a bit of mess out here so as you guys can see this is uh, the release date which we'll be fetching from this API so uh, let's continue and uh, right here uh, we have uh, given the release date and uh, uh, actually let us also change the height so it will be width divided by 4 and uh, then we need to create uh, and let's change this width also so uh, this one would be uh, divided by 3 and uh, let's fix the brackets first so I think we need another bracket and the hell I think we have an extra bracket out here so I'll remove one uh, actually uh, we need a bracket out here and uh, we don't need these two brackets I guess and uh, here we'll need this one and and uh, yes uh, uh, let's create one more bracket uh, So uh, let's just uh, copy this up and let's uh, paste it out here and uh, let's uh, just remove this yes uh, so that's it and after that uh, now let's create the build item method so uh, right here I'll create the build item uh, actually let's just copy it from here uh, it would almost be same uh, I'll just uh, copy this up and I'll just uh, paste it here and uh, yes. let me fix the brackets and after that uh, I think uh, we do not need this image.network out here so I'll just uh, remove it and instead I will have a layout builder so layout builder and inside this layout builder uh, will provide uh, uh, let's say okay first uh, let us wrap this card with a container so I'll wrap it with a container and I'll give uh, the container and width of uh, uh, item height uh, multiplied by 4 divided by 2 or 3 and then uh, it will have a child of card and then this card is going to have a child uh, called layout builder and uh, actually the layout builder will take a builder so builder and uh, let's uh, put here uh, build context uh, context comma uh, box constraint box constraint uh, guns box constraints will be constraints 
uh, so that's it and inside it uh, will uh, return a stack so return a stack and uh, after this inside a stack will uh, give some children so children and the first uh, children would be the image dot network which we are going to copy it from here so this would be same so image dot network let's copy and uh, paste it here so we have the image dot network and uh, we'll actually adjust the height or the width so the width would be a uh, constraints uh, dot uh, biggest dot uh, width and then the height would be a uh, constraints dot bigger uh, dot uh, biggest actually biggest dot height and uh, then uh, the stack uh, then we need, will also have a container as our uh, children so container uh, it will have a child uh, first let us adjust the alignment so alignment would so the alignment would be alignment uh, dot uh, center and then and then we'll set the width and the height so width height let's just uh, copy this and let's just paste it out here and uh, and then uh, we need to give uh, a child to our container so uh, let's give a child actually uh, first uh, we have to give some decoration but uh, I'll give it a, I will give the decoration later on so that uh, you guys uh, can see it clearly in the UI or in the emulator so I'll just uh, write here box decoration and I'll do uh, this part uh, later on uh, and then uh, moving on to the child so the child it will take a child uh, padding and let's give the padding so padding uh, cons uh, edge uh, insets dot all uh, 15 and then uh, it is also going to uh, take a child so the child would be a text which will display the categories so text uh, I think I have not uh, so this uh, in the build item the parameter would be a category not a backdrop path we don't need backdrop path out here so it will be category and uh, I'll just copy this category part and I'll just uh, paste it out here and I'll give uh, a text style so a basic text style so uh, style uh, text style and uh, I'll adjust the color and the font size so color equals colors dot uh, white and the font size should be font size uh, uh, font size should be 18 and that's it so this will be the basic uh, UI which will uh, run on our M em emulator later on so our uh, category dot dart uh, widget is set and next later on and and next we'll actually create another widget uh, which would be the movie gallery widget so let me create a new file under our uh, widgets folder so I'll create a new file uh, which I'll name it as movie uh, gallery dot dart and uh, and inside the movie gallery dot dart file I will import uh, the import package src blocks uh, movie image block and then I'm going to import uh, the, the package so package netflix src and I uh, will import the model so we'll import the movie image model so model uh, movie image uh, model and then I uh, will import the uh, material dot dart package so package material dot dart so uh, that's it and then uh, we are going to create a stateful widget uh, which will be called as a uh, movie gallery and here are uh, movie gallery in okay movie gallery so uh, here we'll first at first initialize the movie ID so I'll create an integer 
you know, which would be the movie ID and then uh, I'll initialize it so movie uh, gallery gallery uh, key uh, key comma uh, this dot movie ID and uh, actually this this I would be a uh, capital so movie ID and then uh, we'll give a super super key key and uh, so we have successfully initialized our movie uh, ID and then uh, we'll return a uh, uh, a stream builder so a stream builder uh, actually uh, let's just copy this up from the category dot dart so I'll copy this stream builder out here and uh, I'll paste it right here and now uh, we have to create the build content widget and uh, this one would be a movie image model so movie image model and uh, this one would be a movie image block so movie image block and uh, it would be movie uh, images and uh, here we have to fetch the movie images so I'll just fetch it so uh, movie image uh, block dot uh, fetch movie images uh, which would take uh, widget uh, dot movie id and uh, after that now we will have to create this build content widget so let's uh, create it so i'll just uh, copy this up because all of these things are basically the same um, there are some uh, small differences which we'll uh, sort out later on so we'll just uh, copy this up and we'll just uh, paste it right here and we'll create a build item but first let us fix this this one would be a movie uh, image uh, model and uh, I think we have to adjust the, this this would not be re results but it would be the poster uh, poster yes the posters so uh, posters and then uh, we do not need the backdrop path and then uh, the release date will be replaced by the file path and uh, that's it so uh, actually uh, let us uh, adjust the height and the margin so the height would be uh, width divided by 3 and the margin uh, at the bottom would be 50 and at the top it would be uh, let's say 10 and then uh, everything uh, is fine I guess uh, what else do we need to change uh, well uh, everything is fine and now we need to create the build item method so I uh, will create the build item method actually uh, I'll just uh, copy this up from the movie list dot dart so I'll copy the build item method and uh, okay so I'll copy this up and paste it right here and I think I need to put a curly bracket out here and uh, so let us see uh, the build item method would actually uh, not contain the backdrop path it would contain uh, just the image path so I'll just remove it and uh, uh, yes let's adjust the margin so the margin would be uh, is first uh, it would be 0 and then 10 and uh, the bottom would be 20 so uh, that's it so our movie gallery dot dart widget is all set so guys uh, in this video we created the rest of the widgets which we uh, will be going to need uh, in the next part of the video so we are going to use uh, use use it and display the data in into this emulator out here so we'll uh, so in the next part uh, we'll be building the home page in which we are going to display uh, the movies and all this and we are going to decorate the ui so guys i hope you like this video and do subscribe to my channel to get notified for uh, the latest upcoming for the latest uh, videos and do share these videos if you found it hel helpful and uh, stay tuned uh, for the next part till then uh, see you